Good morning, it's Shelly with uh, Gilbert Marketplace, and today we're going to make a cute spring flower pot gnome. And we're gonna make one just like this. I'm gonna show you how quick and easy it is. Um, all these supplies you can get at the Dollar Tree. So these little mini pots come in a three pack at the Dollar Tree, and you'll need one of those. Um, on that one, I didn't paint it, but on this one, we're going to do a quick coat of paint just to give it a different look. So we're gonna take our little flower pot and we're just going to paint it. I'm just gonna use some white chalk paint for this one. They're just super cute, super easy, great for spring, a uh, little Easter decoration or, you know, just for your garden. Um, we'll just give it a nice thin coat of paint. The nice thing is, chunk right there. Um, the nice thing with these is that the um, chalk paint dries super, super fast on this terracotta pot. And you can make these in any size because clearly uh, you could get them at a hardware store or whatnot. So uh, just kind of like I said, a little fun spring things. If you're having a little get together for um, Easter, it would be a cute little craft project if you like to do something different when uh, you have guests over. Sometimes we do little projects or games or things like that just for entertainment. And this would be a super easy, inexpensive little uh, activity. You could also do these as your little place settings and they would be super cute because you could even vinyl on their names to make them place settings. So I'll show you that's how quick it is. We'll just do this little edge just in case it kind of shows. It probably won't, but for, for the sake of just in case, we'll do that. Okay, so it's pretty, like I said, pretty much dry to touch already. So after, we're going to um, rinse that off a little bit. I should always get a cup of water, but I don't. Okay, so we'll just let that sit aside. What you can do is pick up a pack of socks. Now you can get these in um, all different sizes, but I usually get the men's, the three pack, just so I can get as many as possible. And I get the 12, uh, six by 12. And that gives me a little um, extra room to fold over and whatnot. You can pick up your fur. And that fur is at Hobby Lobby and you can buy it by the yard. It's $16.99 a yard. This is very, all you need is about six inches. So you don't even have to get a whole yard. They do sell it by the um, yard. So uh, you can get the, any denomination. So you can buy it by the inch. Go to a Hobby Lobby. Then you'll need a real, um, a little wood ball, or you could use many different things for the nose, but I just happen to have these little wooden balls. You can also get those at Hobby Lobby. You can also use a mop if you're trying to stick with all Dollar Tree um, items. And then what I do is I just take my sock and I fill it with pebbles. Um, you can use pebbles, you can use rice. Um, I used to use rice a lot you'll see in my former tutorials, but people buy these from me all the time. And I guess some people across the um, Midwest and whatnot have mice problems. So the rice, you know, is still a food product. So these are just little pebbles. And then I used a little bit of stuffing. I just put the pebbles about to here in my sock and then I put some stuffing in it. Now you'll see I tie off my sock and you'll have a little extra. What I do is I bring that down after I glue um, my little piece of um, fur on it. So you'll end up with it in this shape. So you'll have the you know back with the pebbles, the stuffing, I tie it off, I fold it over, okay? So then I just take the pot and I stick it in there and I kind of figure out if it's too high or too low. Um, in this case, maybe a little less stuffing would have been good, but I just kind of gonna shove it up in there. So we'll just kind of do that. I don't, um, this has like needs to be glued a little, we'll add a little glue 
on the fur and just kind of tuck it up under the pot, okay? And you can, you know, tip it way back, forward, however you like. So I just kind of play with that a little bit like that. Now, to adhere this, I will use a little glue, but first I'm gonna take my wood ball and I'm going to set it right in the middle. And I just kind of set it on there first. Then I'm going to take a little glue and add it to the top right here. Try not to make a total mess with my glue. And then I'm going to push down. So that goes under my pot just a little bit, okay? Not too crazy, but it will just kind of give it that under, you can see, under the look, you know? And then just make sure we don't have any glue or whatnot. And you know, I kind of puff the fur up a little. Then after that, you can take the back and you can just take a little bit of glue I don't get crazy with my glue. Um, and I just tip it underneath the hat and a little bit on the sock, as you can see, and then push down. You can even take your sock and kind of push it up around the edge. So that's just gonna hold it on just in case, you know, it tips over or whatnot. This is not, you know, um, nobody's gonna be touching, it's gonna be sitting on a shelf, but you can pick it up by the pot, you know what I mean? Between the front, in the back, you know, it has plenty of room. Now this one, you can see is kind of, it's not so straight, it's like leaning a little to the side, but that's kind of cute actually. So I'm just go with it. And then you're gonna just take the flowers that you want. Um, you can pull them off and, you know, if you want a big flower or you want a little flower and some greens, um, you can do what you want with it. I think I'm gonna use this bigger flower what I do is I obviously cut off the part that you would attach it to the stem so it's nice and flat. I'll fluff that up a little. And then I'm going to just use my glue. And this is a really, really easy project. And then we're just going to fasten it to my pot. Now, this one's a little bit thicker, and so on the edge you can see a little bit right in here. So I'll just add maybe a little bit of my flower greens. So you could just take a little bit of your leaf, and I'm just going to cut that off my stem here. Glue. Maybe we'll use two, maybe not. I have a couple of leaves here if I want one more pointy. Um, that might be kind of pretty. Yeah, actually, I think I like this one. So I'll just add a little glue here on the edge of my petal. Sorry, getting out of the camera there. And then I'm just going to stick it to the back of the flower. I don't even know if I'm going to take it, I mean, glue it down to the pot. Let's see. I, mean, I kind of like those longer ones. They came on the um, baby's breath here. And I'll just cut another one. And maybe I'll stick it. Just kind of play with it where you want your placement. Let's see here. I don't know. That one kind of, you know, I think I'll just stick with the one. I just think that looks cute sticking just out like that. I don't know. You guys think what you guys, you know, want to do, but you can make all kinds of cute little flowers. You could add greens, like I said, you could add some of this baby's breath. I do have some baby's breath I dropped over here with some yellow, you know, and if you wanted to add that, I think I'm just gonna leave it kind of plain. So that's how simple this little uh, flower pot gnome is. I mean, super cute, like I said, you could use them as place settings, um, you can just set them in there. Um, on a buffet or a shelf or something just for kind of a spring decoration. They'd be super cute as place, uh, uh, card place for each person at the table. Just super cute. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, DIY. It's quick and simple. Get all your materials at the Dollar Tree and make um, crafts budget friendly. Thanks and have a great day, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial.